I think football is good for MVU because we've never had a football team. Football is the only sport I used to ever like, and it helps with your academic skills and physical skills too. Mr. Hill, how do you think MVU football started? When I first came here as principal in my first year, there was a group of young men who approached me um, and asked if I would be interested in helping them start at least thinking about a football team and trying to put a football team on the field at MVU. So I think that was uh, where it really started was some student interest. And then I contacted um, uh, Mr. Sheeler, who is someone I know who had great interest in, in talking about football at MVU. We started talking. We put together a student interest survey, um, got information back that there was a lot of kids that were interested in football, and so we uh, started the ball rolling and moved in the direction of having a team. So what was the main part that got it to go? Well, we spent a lot of time um, trying to convince the community that it was a good thing to have actually in the school budget, but the community uh, was uncertain about whether they wanted to support football as part of the, the traditional school budget. So what really needed to happen was we began doing some pretty extensive fundraising. So we um, did some local fundraising, which didn't provide a lot of money because I think people were not sure yet that football was gonna be positive for the school. And then we started doing external fundraising, including um, we did a GoFundMe account, and we um, applied for a Dick's Sporting Goods grant, which ultimately gave us $20,000, uh, which really pushed us over the top. Um, and Mr. Sheeler and I began calling in sort of everybody we knew across the country and shared with them what a great thing we had going on. And so we received money from uh, people in California and Wyoming and Florida in New York, um, and we ultimately ended up raising about $43,000 in cash and about $10,000 in equipment that we uh, was donated by the New England Patriots. Um, Middlebury College gave us a bunch of equipment, Essex High School. So a lot of, a lot of people were involved in uh, donating money and or equipment that put us in the right place, and that's really when the ball started going, when kids started to see that there were real, tangible objects. When we started to have footballs and helmets and equipment, kids started to realize this is uh, a real possibility and, and it was, uh, at that point, unstoppable, I think. Um, from with, within the school, we originally had over 100 students that said they would be willing to participate. And then when it all sugared off and people really needed to get to work and take care of business and and get out and do fundraising and be part of a team. Um, that dwindled down to about 33 or 34 players. Um, but there were still lots of people who were not students who were involved in moving things forward. Mrs. Martin, Mrs. Didio, um, lots of teachers were supportive. Mr. Getty was supportive. Um, and then there were some community folks who helped out. We had. Um, Mr. Lumsden's son came and he brought a backhoe from the company he worked with and helped us dig our goalpost holes. Um, I have a friend who owns Camp Precast uh, Concrete. Um, so they brought over a boom truck and helped us pick up those goalposts and put them in the ground and they're extremely heavy and it was a complicated process. So there are a lot of people who I think uh, respected both the game of football and knows what what it can do for young adults, but also who were confident that Mr. Sheeler and I were good people who were invested in doing the right thing for kids. Um, and so they were willing to give their time and come over and take care of business. And um, so we had some concrete donated. We had, like I said, the goalposts uh, being dug and lifted were, you know, that would have cost us thousands of dollars and we got it for free. So um, a lot of people, parents in particular, um, Mrs. Pylon was uh, really a star in making sure things happened. We had Mrs. Dragon. Um, Mrs. Marcia, so uh, just on and on, the um, um, Austin Sullivan's parents were very helpful, um, uh, the McAllister's were super helpful, and it goes on and on, there's a lot of people who were really helpful, and um, they were helpful both in believing in the program, supporting their kids and participating, getting their kids to practice, and believing that it was the right thing to do for the school. 
and even when they were facing questions from you know people in the community, they they stood behind us and moved us in a positive direction. So I think there were a lot of people that were really involved in, in making it happen. I'm happy to say that my father was the uh, first person to ever donate to MVU football, which was nice. He sent us a check for five hundred dollars, and um, so a lot of people. It was a great, great team effort. Okay. So, how did all of the players and teachers and coaches help the community and the football team? Uh, I think that the way that the community came together around football at MVU was when they first saw um, how proud the kids were of the fact that they were on a team. And when that started to be a reality for the community, then I think you started to see more people recognizing that this was something that really could happen at this school. And so I think what was really exciting was our first home game ever. There were probably 400 people here. and. Um, I think there were some people who were curious. I think some people were hoping it would fail. I think some people were hoping it would succeed. And the more successful the team was throughout the course of the season, um, the more those non-believers started to drop off and the believers started to continue to come on board until we had um, you know, a lot of people that were really invested in, in making it successful. So you know, I think now the community realizes that it's um, not just a possibility, but it's a reality and that MVU football exists and uh, this coming season we'll still have um, a JV schedule but the year after we have the opportunity to jump up to a Division Three slot and be a Division Three team um, and play a varsity schedule and that would be really exciting for the kids who were there from the beginning and I think that's what they deserve is the opportunity to really have um, a true football experience and play at a, a high level because I think that's what, what they can do. So yes, I do think it's a really it's a genius question you had, uh, Ian. That's a really great question. Um, I think that the program can and will sustain itself. We have raised enough money so that we could certainly do at least two or three more years, if we needed to, without any sort of public funding. And um, I think the kids have demonstrated that it's uh, something that they they value and like and are willing to contribute to both their time, their effort, and their energy. And there's nothing like um, a football game to really bring a community together. It gives kids something positive to do. It gives a community something to rally around. And uh, I love all sports. I love all high school sports. And I think every sport has a place and every kid should participate at least once in some sort of sport. Um, but having been a high school and college football player, I really truly believe in the power of the game to unite people and create a team experience unlike any other. So I think football will continue at MVU um, long after I'm gone, I hope, and it will be something that I'm proud to say I was part of making it happen with uh, a group of courageous and dedicated young men um, to put a team on the field for the first time in the history of MVU. Go ahead. Uh, Ready, Sheila? Go ahead, Hunter. Come on, good technique, nice and low. Hi, I'm Dennis Hill, and I'm the principal here at Mrs. Gray Valley Union Middle and High School in Swanton, Vermont. And I'm here to talk about why sports matter to us, and particularly to our hopes of having a football team on the field here next year at MVU. We're a small high school in the state of Vermont. We have about 50% of our kids live uh, at or below the poverty line. We have a Native American population of about 35% here at our school. Since the school was built in 1970, we have not had a football program. Our kids have limited access to after school activities. Our community is somewhat strapped for cash. So anything you can do to help us give these kids an opportunity for a successful after school experience would be really helpful and we'd really appreciate it. We know in this business that anything that we can do to keep kids connected to school will keep kids off the street, away from drugs and alcohol, and 
they will become more successful members of our community. We're proud of our school. We love our kids. We want them to be the best they can be, and your help will make that happen. Thank you very much.